Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. I uh, have a couple of uh, New Zealand Cirrus here, uh, both from Hawke's Bay and uh, both from, well, sister wineries, I suppose you'd call, call them, part of the uh, uh, Villa Maria group. There's nothing, not, neither of these wines is labelled Villa Maria, but uh, uh, one of them's Esk Valley and uh, one of them's uh, Vidal. Uh, I, I, is it Vidal or Vidal? There's one of them that's uh, pronounced one way if it's the grape in, in Canada, and uh, I, I always get them confused. Anyway, I'll just say uh, Vidal for the moment. But first one I'm going to do is uh, Esk Valley, and so they're both from Hawke's Bay. This one just says Hawke's Bay on there, uh, and it's 2011 Syrah, um, weighing in at 13% alcohol. Let's give it a whirl. First thing I notice is it's really quite pale and delicate in colour. Uh, I mean, part of it ill will be it's, it's five years old, so it won't be as deeply coloured when it was young. But um, even so, it doesn't smell, well, it doesn't look like they've done too much extraction to get as much uh, colour, flavour, tannin and whatever. They, it seems like they're quite confident to have it as a, a pale and interesting wine. Better smell it, than I? Yeah, and it's got those uh, classic uh, clove, uh, aromatic, peppery, um, gentle berry and black currant flavours of or aromas of, uh, of cool climate Syrah. Uh, if you're in the old world, uh, Crow's Hermitage in, in the Northern Road is probably the benchmark, and Hawke's Bay in, uh, in, in in New Zealand is proving to be uh, a place that really does it does it uh, similarly style and stylistically uh, in the Southern Hemisphere. There's a few places in Australia that do it like that, like. Uh, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, that bit north of Melbourne where Craigley is. Macedon. Yeah, Macedon around there. Um, and uh, But here, uh, it smells like it's going to have, uh, yes, five years old, but it still smells like it's going to be uh, quite refreshing and juicy. Yeah, genuine light to medium bodied style. Um, I'd never put that as five years old. It feels younger and fresher than, than that. Almost a wine that um, would you'd be very happy to uh, stick in the fridge for not too long, like a quarter of an hour, 20 minutes on on a warmer day. Uh, maybe if I have a problem, when it comes to um, the finish, there's maybe just a little bit too much of the um, pepper and spice and not quite enough of the fruit flesh to, um, uh, to, uh, yeah, to, to wrap around those, uh, those spicy flavours. It's a problem that uh, I have traditionally found in quite a few Hawke's Bay wines. Lovely aromas, and then maybe uh, they lack a little bit of uh, the French word is matière, uh, the Australian word is grunt, uh, to, to back them up. And as the vines get older, as the winemakers mature as well, uh, those are coming more and more into balance. Here, it feels like it's um, good, but um, maybe just, little, uh, yeah, just lacking a little bit of uh, oomph. Uh, second wine, uh, so Anthony Joseph Vidal, Vidal of Hawke's Bay, Reserve Syrah 2013, and this is from a particular part of, um, of Hawke's Bay called the Gimlet Gravels, uh, where, unsurprisingly, the soils are uh, gravel. Uh, best enjoyed two to five years from vintage, so we're right in its uh, proper drinking window here. Let's give it a whirl. Was well, deeper in colour, uh, probably can't see against this lurid shirt, um, but it's also deeper in, in fruit fleshy aromas. Uh, so there's a sweeter, juicier uh, red berry and, and plum character here, a bit of damson in there too. And um, it smells like it's going to be full of richer style. In terms of alcohol, first one was 13%, this is 13.5%. It's, um, it's not hugely um, yeah, stronger, hugely more potent but it feels like it's, it does have the matière that the first one was uh, maybe lacking. Younger, richer, juicier, slightly jammy. There's this like slightly jammy blackcurrant and blackberry character going on, on there. And uh, it's funny, I like the pepper and spice character in the first one. I like the fruit flesh here. I'm almost tempted to, uh, to blend the two together too, because I think that um, they would each make up uh, what the other lacks. Um, if I had to choose my favourite of the two, uh, I think it would largely depend on where I was uh, and what the conditions were like. If, I, well, it, was a, if it was a, a cool day, I, I, I definitely, and, and I was on stews and things like that, I'd probably go for the uh, Vidal. If it was a warmer day and I was uh, eating outside, a slightly chilled glass of the Esque Valley would go down well. They're both good. Uh, they're good adverts for, for, for Hawke's Bay. Uh, there are better wines in Hawke's Bay, uh, but as, uh, as cool climate Syrah goes, uh, they're pretty tasty wines. See you soon.